Now I say thank you for your first ever Christmas present. Say thank you, Uncle James and Aunt Katie. He really likes it. It's a very good present. So today is Monday, November 19th. This wasn't my original intention for this video. I had every intention this weekend to vlog all of the stuff we were doing because we were so busy this weekend. On Saturday, my brothers and Jordan, who I'm just gonna start calling my sister-in-law at this point, they came over and helped us take our Christmas card photos. Jordan did my hair and makeup for me. It is awesome and Carrie and Travis hung out with Chase while Jordan did my hair and makeup for me and we went in the backyard and took our Christmas card photos which are so freaking cute I'm so excited we haven't ordered any yet but we'll probably do it today or tomorrow and so I can get them ready and get them sent out soon because I'm really excited about Christmas. That took all of our time up until we had to leave on Saturday night for Chad and Stephanie's 15th anniversary party. It was also Stephanie's parents' 50th anniversary party. Isaac did not go with us. He stayed at home with my godmother. She's watched him a couple of times before and he likes her. And I'm so glad he's good for her sitters. Okay, but it's really funny. He's getting into this phase where he is terrified by like anything sudden. Like if somebody has an outburst of laughter or we're at church and a bunch of people start clapping or if somebody is like just taken by surprise. Like Chase has done this so many times to our poor little baby. He'll be like thinking of something. He'll have a realization be like, oh, and then Isaac will literally get the saddest face I've ever seen and start bawling. It never takes long to cheer him back up, but it's always so sad. So she said that happened a couple of times while she was literally laughing and it scared him. But other than that, he was an angel. We had fun. It was a nice formal like sit down dinner. We got to dress up fancy and be fancy and have like a fake date night. Chase fell over while he was dancing. On, in the middle of the dance floor. Luckily, Chad was there to catch him. Sunday morning, we had to load up our car and get dressed up again because Chase got confirmed. He had to be at church an hour before the service started to like go through everything with the bishop and then he got confirmed Sunday morning. Isaac fell asleep on me for the first time in probably months it was really sweet stayed for the reception a little bit we gave all of those christmas decorations from our living room that we're not using to chase's mom who dispersed them up as she saw fit so we went home we changed we fed the baby we got all packed up and then we left immediately to go to james and katie's baby shower Lennon is due the day after isaac's birthday but there's only like a 1% chance she'll actually be born that day. Regardless, Isaac will probably have a cousin who's about a year younger than him, give or take a few weeks either way. Isaac got that Christmas present he was playing with this morning. I think is going to grow with him nicely because right now he really likes the noises they make when they bang together, which is kind of what we thought would happen when we put it on his wish list. He uses it like a little drum kit. And then as he gets older, he can use it for more imaginative play and it's just kid size pots and pans and it's really cute and so thank you guys for getting that for him. Throwing a new toy into the mix every once in a while really like helps keep Isaac occupied. He gets really bored of seeing the same exact toys like day after day so what I've been doing is kind of hiding some and then I'll like reintroduce them to him like a week later and that way he stays a little more interested. But a truly new toy like this one is always really exciting for him. And now here we are on our way to meet Chase for lunch. Hey. Mm, 
Chase, what'd you say about your dessert? I like turtles. <laughs> Spicy kids with craw taters. What else, buddy? Tell me. Get ready for the greatest joke ever. And I come around to my car door and it's locked. <laughs> I am now at Walmart. An associate is on the way to your car with your groceries. And here they come. Spears? Yes. How are you doing today? Good. There were a few substituted items. The um, bubble wrap christening. They got 12 by 30 bubble wrap. Okay. <laughs> Farm fresh ground turkey. They got a uh, turkey patty one pound. Okay. Other than that, everything was picked the way it should be. Okay. Like a nail color, by the way. Thank you. Kind of metallic-ish. Yeah. Not the band. That's everything, ma'am. Thank Th you. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. And it's that simple. This baby's ready to go home. He needs a snack. I only brought him like an actual like food for lunch. I didn't bring his puffs, which he normally eats after like every meal. I'm gonna go and give him a little snack when we get home. And then we can play some, huh buddy? Okay, it is a lot later now. It is almost four o'clock. Whenever we got home, Isaac had a little snack. We got a fresh diaper on him, I nursed him, and then he went down for a nap for all of about 30 minutes. I handed these to him while he was getting his diaper changed and he sat perfectly still. So we are currently in the part of life where the separation anxiety is real. Earlier I tried to get up to go get the camera and Isaac freaked out. And we're also at that point where like, no matter who is holding him, even if it's Chase, if he sees me like walking by and I like walk past him, he freaks out. For people that don't know, it's extraordinarily common for babies to act their best when they're with someone else, especially at like his age. But whenever they see their mom, probably their primary caretaker, somebody they consider like, a home base. They tend to feel safer and they feel like they can let out all those negative emotions that they've been kind of harboring up being an angel for everyone else. While I do have an angel baby, he can be a little testy for me sometimes. Also today, while we were out, I think three different people called Isaac a she, which I honestly don't even care about. He's literally a baby. The only thing that bothers me is I would like use the pronoun he. I'm not trying to like correct people, but like we're having a, I'm having a conversation with a stranger in line. Like I'm gonna call him by the correct pronoun. And then people always say, this happened at le like literally at least three times today. Three people said, oh, he's too pretty to be a boy. What? And instead of having a sassy comment, I just say, boys can be beautiful too. Because look at this. This is a beautiful boy. But I don't know, when did the words pretty and beautiful <laughs> get associated with girls and the only word you can just use to describe a, bo 
a baby boy is handsome. I think you're beautiful. If you watch this in 15 years and are like, Mom, this is dumb. What a stupid video you're making me watch. Can I go play video games? I'll let you go play video games. If that's the activity you want to do. But look at this. There's a beautiful baby, huh? Isn't that beautiful baby, Isaac? He is fussy because he's still really tired because his afternoon nap wasn't nearly good enough. So I'll probably nurse him. And if he falls asleep on me, I'll probably just let him rest there until Chase gets home. Isaac's just finishing up his dinner. What do you have, Dad? Sweet potato. Sweet potato. He's a sweet potato. We are having red beans and rice. Thickening up right there. Got rice. Cornbread has one minute left in the oven. <laughs> what kind of cookies? Delicious. They're baby arrowroot biscuits, a.k.a. cookies, muffins, and bubble wrap. It's ridiculous. You're ridiculous. My husband has the best wife. It is a lot later now again. Isaac has gone down for bed and Chase and I are gonna go relax, AKA I'm going to edit this video. As always, thanks so much for watching. If you liked it, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.